It's unusually warm out this morning. We're going to be playing with the bins today. That ought to be fun. He did 3010. We put the corn head in here. I wanted to put it in here to begin with because that's where it went. But somebody told me to put it in the big building because, well, nobody wanted a spot for me. And I guess I could have done it on my own, but, you know, I was just told to put it in the big building, but whatever. Everybody thinks they're in charge of, you know, whatever. We just won't go. this morning so we've done some modifications this bin sweep and that is what you want to see is the floor okay no need anymore for a uh, rope on here although we will pull this back so it, it does not start under load. We had to do a simple adjustment to that wheel that you would have thought that the installers would have done, but I guess no two people are exactly the same. But we're gonna get the rest of this corn out of here and uh, get on with the day. Well, we were gonna fill both wagons with corn, clean been out the rest of the way but it's kind of starting to want to drizzle a little bit so if them beds get moisture in them on them wagons good luck trying to get the grain out i mean this wasn't predicted until like lunchtime but it is what it is The bin is empty. So we've got another problem. Want to go get something out of this and Lo and behold, the zipper breaks. Great. Just great. Okay. Not what I really wanted to deal with, but. Oh well. Things are made cheap. And I don't feel like screwing around with a zipper that. Well. Yeah, I just don't. Okay. I mean, I guess I can get a little more in this than the butter. What am I doing with that? Than a traditional, than this darn thing. But I gotta remember too that I need to take an accountability for a ice pack okay Ooh, it's just barely going shut <laughs> okay so I don't really remember how 
much this one was i i was given it for christmas sent it back once because this zipper broke well now this zipper here breaks okay i guess that's why you stick with your old trusty playmate rubbermaid what's that one up there Oh, Heston tractor or Heston equipment. Okay, it's gonna need a scrubbing, but you know nothing. Little super clean couldn't take care of. I don't think. I don't know if this was Dad's when he was a little kid or or not, but yeah, it just it irks me. That you know you but you think you buy something good, and it breaks. There wasn't even that much weight in the thing. I mean, it's like there were no baggies or nothing that got caught here and tore. But I mean, it is what it is. I guess. I mean, yeah, this one is easier. Say you run a tractor, piece of equipment. And you need to get something out of your lunchbox real quick. Boom. You know, you've already got it. Where is this thing? You got to fart around with zippers and everything. It was a good idea. But, you know, I can cram everything that I had in this. That I can cram everything that I had in this. The two compartments cr shoved into one. I actually think... Hmm, is this one even any bigger? I don't think so. It don't look like it. Okay. But, yeah, that stuff. Mm-mm. Hopefully still under warranty, but I doubt it. So I figured I would uh, do... Uh, I was getting ready to do my afternoon chores, and I figured we were doing a bunch of fiddle farting, pissing around with augers and everything. We we're gonna try and use that big one that we had set up to the wet bin. We were gonna try and just scooch it over, use it for soybeans, dump it into that bin, like how we had things about oh eight years or so ago on the farm. That was a soybean bin, and then that was the corn bin, and then we since expanded. Okay. But that auger over there, the little eye, um, is too big on it to um, go into the hole up there. So um, we're just going to have to use this electric auger. I don't know how it's going to work with, uh, we might, I'd say we should just let the thing just bang and clang all day. And, uh, you know, in between cartfuls that way, you know. I don't have to get out and shut the thing off and waste time waiting on the uh, um, gravity wagon to get empty. So that way I can make good time back to the combine if we're, say, right there to that field. I don't know. I don't know how it's all going to go, but this is how it's going to go. A lot of pain in the butt screwing around, but it is what it is. And it's what has to happened to make harvest possible so what we ended up doing right first thing this morning was we emptied the feed grinder into the sow feed bin like you guys saw then we took that wagon put it up to that six inch auger the little short one not that one that was to that big tall bin right there that had the corn left in it we filled that one we filled this one and then what we did was we i think it we brought the big 10 inch auger over that little auger i want to say right there we had it sticking this way put the pt auger up that way had the heston sitting there transferred corn from that bin to that bin gonna try beans uh friday or saturday tomorrow's thursday so we're gonna try chewing it some beans it's go time. <laughs> 